as I was thinking in my thinking chair, thinking about all those wonderful things that I think about. Yeah, I have to, when I'm thinking, I got to, you know, hmm, hmm. As I was thinking, um, I wanted to talk about a tea ceremony. In the, and when I started going back through the elements of it, one of the suggestions that um, in Ichigo Ichie, which is meaning that moment frozen in time that, you know, you get the full meaning of that moment. Uh, it was part of the tea ceremony. <clears throat> and we'll get into that. But today, the thought was have tea with yourself and your own tea ceremony. And we'll get into some of the elements of what tea is. Well, the tea ceremony, the channel you uh, ceremony was designed for at least two people. All right. The tea master and the guest. And they share an intimate moment in time. Uh, and it can be six guests. Like if it was me and the family, I would be the tea master. And I would be serving by uh, five guests. Because it's six of us. And we would be sharing that moment in time. Uh, enjoying tea together. So as we get into the steps and the the meanings and the tools and you know the traditions I wanted everybody to actually before you start getting into those things have tea with yourself you know have that moment in time with yourself so what the tea ceremony does it it creates a space for you to be still uh set aside the daily worries to set aside the uh the, the complaints of the day <laughs> and all of the criticisms and be mindful of the moment okay so ichigo ichie is to appreciate the time that you spend and not only spending with yourself and your thoughts but appreciate the time that you have spending with uh with god while you are enjoying your tea so as i set up my tea ceremony for my family in my mind i'm doing this with myself first <clears throat> so i'm practicing on myself okay and here are some of the rules that i'm coming up with uh the place that we do it should inspire calmness. You can get excited about being alone and sharing your thoughts with yourself, but the space around you, even like when we sit down together this morning, I tried to set this up. My favorite, some of my favorite things and my favorite tea, well, a tea. And a place that inspires calmness. And one rule, it's okay to take time. Okay? Uh, leave some space for silence. Because in silence, you hear the most. When you are in a state of listening, you tune your ear to hear things usually when there's a whole lot of noise going on and a lot of things going in the background your ears tune out everything but when you're in a calm state and you're listening not only do you hear things that's happening when you're in a good frame of mind and you're listening to, uh, to everything not only do you hear things, but you hear the meaning behind the things. So take that into consideration. Think of the things related to yourself at the moment and everything else that's outside of that moment, it can wait. 
Notice the uniqueness of the things around you. Of the tea. How it's different than the tea you had yesterday. This time it's, it's sweeter than it had. It has more flavor than it had yesterday. Listen to your thoughts as you notice those things. My thoughts, first thing when I took a sip, I was like, whoa, now this is different than what I had before. Yes, the other day I had this, it was just flavored water. This is actually tea. This has flavor to it. And reflect on the things that you've noticed and how it relates to the things that's happening throughout your life. How do things how do things connect as you're thinking through your thought process and you're thinking about the uniqueness of things? Think of how it connects, how flow goes from your ikigai through you from your your mission all the way through your purpose or your vision all the way through your mission and your purpose and your passions so reflect on the things that you notice and how it relates to the hap- happenings of your life okay so uh this one thinking of how things relate to each other and things like that that spoke to me the most okay and This is what I asked myself. I I wrote some of these things down because, you know, I like to think. So how does what I've noticed, okay, or or the things that God God is showing me, how does it relate to me? Is God, if I look at this, if I look at CJ Bowles right here. And I'm looking at it and I'm contemplating how intricate, how this little plant is living on these rocks. And it's it's been tied down to give it some of its curvature, Uh, the wabi-sabi of it, the uniqueness uh, and the imperfections. How does that relate to me? Uh, I'm not going to get into that because, you know, I'll be sitting here all day contemplating how I'm this little plant. But anyway, <clears throat> what is God saying? OK, uh, <laughs> I teach the kids all the time that hey, God's always showing us things. <clears throat> he never stops talking and he never stops listening. So if you are putting out a question out there, God, what does this do? He's or can you do this for me? Just like you ask your parents, you a lot of times already know the answer. And what we do, we'll sit there and we'll say, God, help me with this. God, help me with that. And we will notice that, you know, God's not answering. But usually as soon as we ask, he's showing us the answer. OK, here's the answer. The problem is. A lot of times, since we already know what's good for us and we know how our our father will respond to us, we don't hear it because we don't want the answer. (laughs) We already know that we're asking for something that's outside of his will. So a lot of times we just don't hear it and we'll say, well, I'm just going to wait on God and I'm just wait. But a lot of times he really goes ahead and says, "Okay, yes. No, don't do that. And we're like, well, uh, I just need some confirmation. And we keep going. So the problem is not us. I mean, not him. It's usually us. And uh, we usually get what we ask for. But overall, let's wrap this thing up. Overall, enjoy your moments, okay? Uh, Each moment, spend some time drinking tea with yourself enjoy those that tea it's easy just to grab a drink and just go you know but it takes discipline and this is where we 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 mess up a lot of times 
It takes discipline to sit down and enjoy something. Uh, if you get a if you get a plate of food and you man, that was great. I've got to go. It takes discipline to sit down and enjoy it. Enjoy each bite. Think about the things, man, how does this relate to this? Or I really savor this flavor. And what are you trying to show me? Because a lot of times, if we sit down and we listen, we, we see God moving. A lot of those people that you say, man, I just, I wish I had a relationship like you did with, 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 with God. Well, a lot of times those people sit down and have a relationship. <laughs> Simple as that. So that's what I want you guys to do for the rest of this week is to really look for those times or don't even look for them. Enjoy the moment. Okay. Ichigo Ichie. Because every moment is never going to be the same. It might be like it and it might be just as joyful or it might be even more joyful next time because you're getting into the practice of, hey, I'm spending time with you. So as always, enjoy your tea. Kanpai. Kanpai.